What is going on, everybody? My name is Japes. Welcome to episode number 52 of my Path to Power. Uh, we're up to about 100,000 coins, reached that 100 win uh, milestone on FIFA, uh, the last episode. And we're going to go out and we're going to buy Gonzalo Higuain. I thought, hey, man, maybe I should get the 86, 87 Higuain, test him out, see how he goes. But the smart play here is just for me to pick up the regular one. I don't know if there's too much of a difference. It doesn't seem like there is. But it turns out to be a futile buy just for the sake that I buy Higuain and I sell him on right away without even playing a game with him. So don't get your hopes up for seeing a match uh, with him. As I asked in my episode yesterday, I said, hey guys, please list in the comments a player that you would like most like to see me use. And guys, there were like 1,700 comments uh, on that video and I have absolutely... No way of really tallying those up. Uh, I tried to go through them as best I could. There were definitely some votes for Pirlo, for Belhanda, for Twig. Um, who are the other ones? I don't know. There were, there were just loads and loads and loads of them. Uh, but Pirlo is going to be extremely pricey and not the good kind of pricey. And now the reason I'm saying this is because his price well, might go up for a day or two more. But when they play Germany on Thursday, I think that they're going to lose. And so I think his price is going to go back down. And that's not good for the overall path to power you know, mantra of try to sell cards on for more than you bought them for. Uh, but what you see on the screen is we're just selling everybody on. We start building a squad around Bell Honda, who I did did see in the comments. I also did a live stream yesterday and uh, enjoyed myself using Belhanda. So I figured, hey, why not? We'll bring him over to the the good old path to power and see how it goes. If you guys would like to see me uh, live stream more often, if you guys did miss the stream yesterday, I generally I put an annotation on the video when I started doing it. Um, but the best way to do that is just to follow me on Twitter because I'll be announcing it. Uh, that's the easiest way to get the you know the up to date info. The other way is to go follow the stream on Twitch TV. I believe it sends out an email when the live stream starts. So if you guys do want to do that, the link for the Twitch channel is below. There's a strong chance that I'll stream today. I had a very, very fun time doing it. Uh, and I, maybe I'll put some of the highlights of the streams into a video and uh, show those of you guys that are a bit skeptical of how a stream might go. I actually scored some great goals um, in that stream. But I am thinking at uh, at this point, you guys can see we're up to 312,000 coins and Messi actually sold on pretty quickly. I didn't really have to take too much of a hit from the EA tax. Um, I think I maybe took only a 2,000 coin hit, which is amazing for a card of that price uh, and not being an informed card where there are enough on the market that your odds are you're going to take a hit regardless. And what I mean by that is I paid 264,000. He went sold for 275,000. It's 5,000 coins EA tax for every 100,000. So... Uh, you know, you're looking at 10,000 alone for the 200,000, and then you're looking at maybe three or 4,000 more, uh, minus the you know, 11,000 difference or so. So you're looking at about 2,000 coins, 3,000 coins hit for what Messi has given us. That is well worth it, in my opinion. Uh, we might have to do some trading, though, trade on a bit more, because I, I loved playing with Messi, guys. And this next team that I build, I did not enjoy myself uh, playing with it, and I don't know why. It was really the strikers, though, for the most part, I think, but I blame it on the whole squad. It's the way it goes. The guy I actually come up against is in a tournament final, and you'll see how that goes for me there. But the inform or the team of the season, Bell Honda, is absolutely uh, an incredible card. Eunice is a very, very good player. Hit like a 35-yard free kick with him yesterday. Um, scored some really nice goals. And I'm also a huge fan of that inform left-wing Adel Tarapt. I'm going to go buy him for my next squad after this, whatever I do. So... You guys will get, you know, get the, uh, have a think about who you guys would most likely or most want to see, uh, I guess, with him or also in that team. I think I'm thinking about switching up formations as well to get something a little funky, maybe a little crazy. Um, probably going to try a three at the back formation set. So uh, if you guys have ideas about who you might want to see in that squad, I'm thinking about creating a Facebook poll. If I do that, there will be an annotation on the screen or a link in the description to which player you guys want to see me use. Uh, as that's, I think, the best way to go about doing it. Um, if not, it's just going to be a mess again of comments and uh, I'm going to just have to try to figure out what is going on because it was I, like I had absolutely no idea who you guys were thumbing. I think the most thumbs up one was maybe like 15 or 16 when I saw them. And out of 1700 comments, you would have thought that one might have gotten thumbs up just a little bit more. But since that wasn't the case, uh, I'm going to ask you guys again, guys, uh, which, you know, I think we're, we might try like a 3-4-3 formation out. I think that could be interesting. I haven't really used that too much in the past. 
352 could be interesting as well. That's what I used in the live stream. It's very, very similar to a 41212. It's kind of a four man's 41212 in some senses. Just taking a defender out and plopping him back in the midfield. Though I've had mixed success with that in the past. Sometimes it just doesn't feel right. Uh, 3412 is a very, very attacking version of a 352. So that might be interesting for counter attack goals. But since I feel like doing a little bit of skillage here or there, a 343 is good. I can get some wingers involved um, and hopefully get some five star players out on the pitch. So that might be what we go with. There's a good chance that we'll lose a lot of games playing a 3-4-3. Well, not a lot of games, but we'll lose more often uh, than we have been with a 3-4-3 just for the sake that it's a very, very attacking formation and probably have to build that team from the back, make sure I've got Brazilian or quick, well, generally Brazilian and quick defenders go hand in hand, but you have to find some decently quick defenders to uh, try to negate that. But this is this is this guy takes a smart little pass and scores a nice goal in the 10th minute with Wayne Rooney. He gets one more here on a cross that Aguero manages to somehow get. Uh, that was a very frustrating um, frustrating defensive effort there from Belhanda. I would actually prefer him not even that far back on defense. I don't know if he has a high defensive work rate or what, but was a little frustrated with that. And then Adel Taraf, look at this for a finish. Give me some of that. Uh, but that's how that game's going to end, 2-1 two, two, uh, in his favor. So we end up losing in the final. I should have kept the team with Messi in it for one more game and taking the coins. That was a big-time FIFA Ultimate Team mistake on my part, going into my first match with a new team. And I got to say with Gomi and Giroud up top those guys are those guys are flops for me Giroud especially I was expecting so much more but I don't really like playing with tank players um I tend to prefer, you know, the Messi, the Zarate, the Aguero, very, very quick, nimble players, you know, players that are going to be strong on the skill dribble, things of that nature. So if you guys want to list the suggestions for players that you've used that are, you know, you felt like are, hey, man, this this guy's ball control is amazing. He's, his agility and his acceleration are quite good. Now, I'm not talking about pace whoring it up with players like Walcott, who we've used before and didn't actually enjoy, but, you know, quick little players that's what we tend to like anyways guys we're coming to a close of this episode i hope you did enjoy it if you did a thumbs up or a like is always greatly appreciated my name is japes and i will catch you all next time